You guys see these white marks under my eyes? This is what happens when you don't sleep in three days, but get a lot of sun. Uh, so it's it's 6 a.m. I just woke up. I got to bed at 4 a.m. the night before. I'm running on less than like an hour and a half of sleep. And that's mainly because my schedule has been really out of whack lately. I normally don't get up this early ever, uh, but today's a unique circumstance where I have to bring something down to Frankie's syringe meat uh, very early on Monday morning. Uh, so the game plan right now is don't crash my car driving down to New York City, <laughs> drop the books off, see how I feel, and then we'll probably come back home and go back to bed. And, uh, and then we'll do the rest of the vlog. I was actually thinking about filming last night at like 3 or 4 in the morning because I was like, well, technically that would be part of this day in the life, but decided not to. We'll do officially contrasting the days. And uh, this is just going to be me taking you guys through what I normally do in a day. Uh, you might be wondering why I sound differently. It's because I still have my retainers in. And I'm going to leave them in uh, probably you know, for another couple hours. And then uh, when we get back home later, we'll take them out. So I did a giveaway on Frankie's Free Range Meat where you get a free copy of my book with your order. That's the main reason I have to go down early today. Uh, again, we'll see how I feel if I want to help pack some orders or stuff. But... Very high likelihood I'm just going to come back and go back to bed. You know how you get like anxious when you know you have to wake up early and do something? And you know you're not going to get a lot of sleep? That's kind of what happened last night. But, whatever. Most days I don't have to go down to Frankie's to arrange meat. And when I do, it's usually around 12 or 1. So, you know, again, never waking up this early. Uh, normally, I'll get up, answer emails for an hour or two. And then, you know, around noon, I'll check if it's sunny and clear outside and I'll try to get a few hours of sun. But, you know, that's only happened a few days this summer because it's been you know, so cloudy outside. They've been spraying stuff in the air. Uh, so that's what today's going to look like, hypothetically. But uh, we'll check in with Adam when we get down there and see if he wants some help. We are here in the God Forsaken facility. I just dropped off the boats. Adam is here protecting himself from Wi-Fi in the freezer. The freezer is about seven degrees, so it's, it's getting to where it's supposed to be. It's a bit of a mess in here right now, but we have a lot more space than we previously did. Here we have all of our Warrior Bars. Three new flavors that are all already sold out. We have the plain unsweetened without honey the chocolate, the banana coconut macadamia, and then we just have the regular vanilla flavored warrior bars as well. Uh, so if you guys haven't, uh, we have my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet. If you order on Frankie's Experience Meat this week, you're getting a free copy. We launched the audio book last Sunday, and hopefully sometime uh, earlier next year, maybe even later this year, we're gonna do an expanded version with pictures as well as uh, a bit more health information. Adam actually brought his Wi-Fi meter down and he's measuring all the levels. And, and the building is brick and cinder block, so it's actually pretty low inside. We have two guys coming down to work today, so, so he doesn't really need my help with anything. And uh, we're just gonna chat for a few minutes, uh, just go over some things that we need to do, and then uh, I'll get out of here, go back home, and, and probably not fall asleep. So I'm excited, a little bit awake now. Uh, things are moving forward. So, Let's go home, try to get some rest. You know, honestly, I'm not really that exhausted, tired. Like I could probably do a few hours of work, but what you guys have to understand is, you know, the reason I do a lot of the things I do is, is for my YouTube channel. You know, the reason I try to get sleep is so I don't look like a zombie and people don't say, oh, Frank, you look exhausted. The reason I try to get a couple hours of sun a day is so I don't look like a zombie. Um, you know, same with the reason I'm working out, it's for the fitness aspect of my channel, which you guys are going to see more of. For any of you guys that want an update on what happened last week with that crazy contractor, uh, I, I got to speak to a couple lawyers. Uh, we'll do an update video probably Thursday of this week. And I even got a call from uh, the People's Court, the TV show. So maybe that'll happen too, we'll see. But uh, we're going to drive home right now. We're literally right under a subway station in Brooklyn, so... Should be easy to hire people here. What's the difference between organic banana and regular? Aren't they both the same thing, basically? No, an organic banana is grown without certain chemicals uh, when they when they farm it. Uh. Uh, so I just got home. I'm really exhausted. Uh, my sister's up. Uh, my dad went to uh, the supermarket. 
I think he has dementia at this point because the freezer is full and he keeps just buying more frozen meat. So I don't know what's going on, but uh, I just got a couple emails to answer that I saw on my phone. And uh, then we're going to lay down for a couple hours. So I'll see you guys when I get up. I'm not too worried about setting an alarm because uh, it, it looks cloudy outside. And normally I'll set an alarm for like 11, 30, 12 o'clock so that I can check if it's sunny, get some UVB, uh, but that doesn't look like the case today. So I just got out of bed. It's around 1.30, and despite laying down for over six hours, I think I only got an hour or two of sleep. Uh, really, really terrible sleep these past few days. I don't know why, uh, but hopefully tonight's a little bit better. And this is the reason I'm so stressed, exhausted, overworked, is because you know I spend half the day laying down, trying to get some sleep, and then I don't end up getting that sleep or getting anything done. Uh, so fairly counterproductive, but uh, trying to stay positive. Uh, so we do have to get two meals in today. Um, I have to work out. And first I want to answer some emails, make some phone calls because it's still business hours. You know, I try to get everything done before like 3.30, 3 p.m. Otherwise people stop picking up their phone. Uh, so we're gonna do that. Uh, let me show you guys a little bit of my room here. Here we have the double monitor computer where I spend a lot of my time. Uh, you know, as I said, I have to answer some emails and I have about you know, 10, 15 different email addresses that I have to go through. Uh, this is my to-do list over here. Uh, today I have to film a video for Patreon. I have to move some stuff around the house. I have to call up some uh, vendors. I have to try to buy some tables for Frankie's Free Range Meat. I have to call up the bank, I have to do some Frankie's natural stuff. Basically, I have to make a bunch of business related phone calls related to either sourcing product or buying something or getting something for myself. Uh, these are just some notes I'm uh, taking and some scripts I'm writing. Uh, since I might want to take a vacation next month, I've been trying to write uh, you know, three or four scripts a night and I'm going to try to film about 30 videos ahead of time, which is you know, a lot of work and it's really adding more stress to everything, but we'll see if I can get it done. Uh, down here I have some orders I have to fill for Oregon Supplements and Frankie's Naturals. I've kind of let these accumulate so much because I haven't been feeling so well. Usually I fill the orders three or four times a week, but this is about you know five days worth of orders. So we're going to fill these later when I'm working out so we can be uh, you know multitasking and productive. As I said earlier, this is what I do most days. I answer all of my emails. Uh, I call up some people because that's when most businesses are open, nine to five. So I try to get those calls in earlier on in the day when most people are still working. Um, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, it's about 2.30. I forgot that I actually turned my oven on so that I can uh, cook my meal. Uh, the phone calls weren't too productive, answering emails, not super productive. And, and what I consider productive is uh, I actually get something done, like I, I place an order, I do this, I do that, but uh, we're gonna eat something, then I'm gonna have to call some people back and we'll see if anything pans out today. Let's go downstairs and get the top round samples that we got. So I have a fridge in the garage for all of my food. And I've been eating ground beef the past few days, but I got a sample in of some top round that we might carry on Frankie's syringe meat. So I'm just gonna try some of that today, mainly because I forgot to throw out some ground beef. Try not to break my toes or my camera stand which I think I already broke so this is a lot bigger than I thought it would be so what I'm gonna actually do is fire up the grill sear off the outside throw this in the oven and we're probably gonna have to wait about an hour to eat this because it's gonna take a little while to cook uh, but since this is so big you know we'll have a couple days worth of roast beef to have I think I mentioned already that the Sun didn't really end up coming out and a lot of clouds out today so, you know, that kind of gave me a little bit of leeway because normally if, you know, I spend half the day laying down trying to sleep and I spend three hours outside tanning, doesn't leave a lot of time for eating, working out and doing other stuff, unfortunately. So we do the wood fire grill every day. So I got a piece of wood that's going to break. So I'll just chop this real quick. This axe is really blunt and I need to sharpen it, but it's still it's still working fine right now. Oh, we already got some wood in here I should have checked. So we could have actually just used this wood again. Okay. 
on. Hopefully not too long to light. So you guys heard me say roast beef. This is top brown, which is the cut they use for roast beef. Very lean on the inside. Usually has a little bit of fat on the outside. So I'm just gonna cut this in half this way. Save one half for another day. Put a fair bit of salt on this because it's probably gonna be sitting in the fridge for a day or two before I eat it all. So while we're still waiting for that grill to heat up, I'm gonna have a couple tablespoons of that honey that I was talking about in my last day of eating video. I'm not actually sure if we're gonna be able to produce this special honey product for you guys, uh, but we'll see. If not, I'll, I'll have an alternative for you guys very soon. Fire actually looks really high, so we're ready to grill this. The main problem with this is that the meat's relatively lean. And when the meat's lean, it's hard to get a brown crust on it. So, what will end up happening is the meat will actually just burn instead of browning when there's not a lot of fat on it. And since this meat has been in the fridge all day and it's really, really cold, you know, the internal temperature is going to take so long to get off that, you know, we kind of have to put this in the oven. Yeah, you could just throw this in the oven and not bother searing it off, but getting the flavor on the outside makes a huge difference. So we're going to get a brown crust on this and then we'll bring it inside and put it in the oven. So I got the oven on 400. I have my probe thermometer set to 122 degrees internal temperature, which is in the roast beef. Uh, so it's about three o'clock right now. This is 20 minutes fast because my parents are crazy. Uh, so I'm guessing this is going to take at least you know 45 minutes to get to 122. So uh, we'll get some other stuff prepped in the meantime. I'll see if my uh, mom wants me to throw this steak on the grill while I still have the wood fire going. Just throw my mom's steak on the grill. I gotta really boot up my smoker and my uh, broiler for a couple recipes for you guys. I think we're gonna make some pastrami and I'm gonna do a Peter Luger style steak recipe video. So I'm excited for those. You know, we did a Peter Luger style steak in the past, except we didn't have this broiler. Um, and, and the smoker I haven't really been using. So this is a nice thin steak. So uh, I'll cook it fully on the grill for her. And we'll bring it inside later. I feel like I shouldn't have vlogged today because today is not my typical day. You know, we got up earlier than we normally do. We slept at a later time. We didn't get sun like I normally do. Uh, my meal is completely different. Like I never have to wait an hour to eat. It's usually just a little bit of ground beef in a pan and I eat instantly, but whatever. I'm showing you guys how things can change day to day. So I'm gonna go back upstairs on my computer. I gotta finish making those phone calls, uh, answer a couple more emails, and, and then we should be looking good. Uh, the nice thing about today is since this vlog is gonna be my video tomorrow, I don't have to spend two to three hours writing a script and filming a video, but what I mentioned earlier about the, you know, filming the scripts because I might take a vacation next month, I'm probably gonna be writing, you know, a couple hours of scripts anyway. So uh, let's get this meal and maybe we'll actually have some free time today. Uh, we can organize my room a little bit. I can uh, bring some stuff down to fill those Frankie's Naturals orders. Actually, let's do that right now after I grill this steak because I'll probably walk away from this grill and forget I have the steak on here. Let me show you guys the fridge situation here. So uh, this is my sister's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, she's actually been having some organic bananas for breakfast with a little bit of macadamia nut butter. This is just some organic turkey breast and dinner, some organic hot dogs. I forgot to make her pasta. Uh, this is the top round I just threw back in here. So my dad has some White Castle sliders for himself. Uh, some hot dogs, some caviar, some smoked fish for myself, but uh, the rest of this is my parents' stuff. He's got you know, muffins, cracker, conventional milk, a whole shelf of bread, leftovers. Uh, that's really it. I do have some like raw cheese and uh, organic stuff in here for my sister as well. So I've had some manufacturing problems with organ supplements and basically uh, the new products I was supposed to get have been delayed a few months. And I think I'll do a video on that sometime this week or next week. But uh, the reason I'm bringing that up is now I have a little more room in my garage so I'm actually gonna bring all of my Frankie's Naturals products down to the garage. Uh, so we have everything in one spot. And we got the moisturizing cream, the tooth powder, deodorant, hair pomade, lip balm, shampoo. Uh, we have the African black soap, some extra labels and, and packaging. So all of this, I'm gonna bring downstairs to the garage. And we got a bunch of stuff down here. It, it is a little tight on space, but since the table is clear on top, I think I can fit everything on top of the table and we'll be good. As you guys will see later when I'm working out, you know, I'm able to 
fill orders between sets. Uh, you know, we mentioned the multitasking that I enjoy doing. So I got most of the Frankie's natural stuff downstairs. Now I'm just gonna grab my labels for my orders later. And I noticed it's actually, you know, clearing up outside. You know, so it's nice and sunny now, clear sky, but it's after 3 p.m. So the UV index isn't ideal. You know, it's around 3.30. But uh, considering I just have a few phone calls to do, I think, you know, I'll go upstairs for about 10 more minutes and then I'll try to catch just like half an hour, an hour of sun just to, you know, liven up my face a bit, wake up a little bit. All right, so here we have the tooth powder, deodorant, moisturizing cream, hair pomade, some lip balm, shampoo, soap, all ready to be packed up into these uh, pamphlets that I have to ship out stuff in. And then here's the organ supplement stuff that I have left over. We just have three things, iodine, full spectrum, and beef liver, uh, some extra mailers here. Uh, some extra cardboard boxes to put my completed packages in and this is basically organ supplements and frankie's naturals shipping packaging station uh, so let's go upstairs i really got to make a few phone calls for uh, suppliers as well as customs agents uh, to see if i can get you guys uh, some supplements sooner than later and that roast beef's been in the oven temperature's going up slowly so hopefully we get to eat soon it's almost four o'clock my sister's on the phone with my grandma downstairs i'm losing my mind on the phone i still have a couple other phone calls to make and i still have to look into we need to buy some more equipment for the facility frankie's free range meat uh, the roast beef smells really good i think it's going to be uh, 15 20 more minutes so we'll eat a little after four o'clock i guess i'm gonna you know go back upstairs on my computer and uh and do some more work so i was gonna go get some sun and i noticed them spraying some more lines in the sky just disappeared though right before my eyes since it's about four o'clock i'm not actually gonna make any more phone calls today I got some potatoes for my sister's breakfast. Uh, we got some pasta I gotta make for her dinner right now. And then we have some pasta sauce in the cab that I'll take out. Two pots of water boiling. I think I'm gonna try to get, you know, about half an hour or so of sun and I'll, you know, go back and forth inside to check on the food. Cause the roast beef's almost done and this stuff's gonna be boiling. Make sure we don't overcook anything. So we're gonna go outside to lay out for a little bit. I have my bed sheet that I'm gonna lay on the grass. As you guys know, the sun rises in the east, sets in the west. So depending on the trees, the orientation of your backyard, you, know, you gotta kind of figure out where you can tan. Uh, for me, it's right here. And you also wanna be aware of neighbors' Wi-Fi levels, like smart meters and stuff, because I used to get headaches always tanning on the side of my house, and it's because my neighbor had a smart meter right there. So I've never gotten a headache tanning over here. When I had a bit more privacy, I would tan naked just to get you know the full body skin coverage, but now, you know, pretty much naked. I just have my underwear on. So uh, I would tie my hair back just so I get an even tan on the back of my neck. But since I'm only going to be out here for a half an hour or so, I'm not going to bother. Uh, but I'm going to be running back and forth inside to check on the food. Uh, also, I usually throw like a bottle or two of water in the freezer or fridge just so I have some cold water to drink on these really hot summer days. Because, you know, when it's like 195 degrees outside and I'm tanning, you know, I try to take a break for five minutes every half hour or so. Just drink some cold water, sit inside on the AC just so it's not too stressful. You see they're still spraying stuff in the sky in New York. What are you going to do? I was laying out trying to tan and I saw an unusual amount of ants on myself. Uh, for some reason, when I placed that towel on this spot, I don't know how well you guys can see, there's just so many ants crawling around everywhere. So I moved the towel over a little bit. Oh look, they're spraying another fresh one. And they disappear really quickly. That one just went away in about 20 seconds, and now they're putting up another one. Makes you wonder how the average person doesn't question them doing stuff like that. I did end up tying my hair back, and I really do enjoy getting like half an hour to an hour of sun every single day. You know, if you have to choose between getting four or five hours of sun one day, of course, that's better than nothing, but it's better to spread it out between days. You feel better, and there's diminishing returns. You know, one hour per day for five days a week in peak UVB will get you more than five hours one day because the skin can only absorb so much vitamin D3 in one day. So it is important. It is nice, you know, to get whatever amount of sun possible you can. Granted, they're not spraying so much crap in the air that the clouds block the sun. But as I've said in past vitamin D videos, you know, it's 4 p.m. and the UVB index isn't that high. So we're not really getting that much vitamin D here. What we're doing is getting the UVA rays that are just darkening and tanning our skin. Uh, so not that effective for vitamin D, but uh, that's, how they, uh, that's how they get people sick. 
they damage people's skins with the UVA rays by blocking the UVB, and then people just have to heal their skin without getting vitamin D in. Potatoes are done. I'm just gonna drain off some water and cool them off in the sink. Roast beef is 120 degrees. So I'm actually gonna take it out now, and then we're gonna let it rest. Looks really, really good. That looks really good. So if we take it out at 120, it should be rare in the center. We want this to rest for ideally an hour, but that's not gonna happen. So let it rest for 10, 15 minutes, then we'll chop off a chunk and eat because you know, it's 4.30, we're getting close to five o'clock and we haven't had our first meal yet, which is not good from a bodybuilding perspective. Uh, so this pasta water is ready for the pasta. And then the last day of eating I did with my sister, I'll show you guys how I prepped this. If you want more details. So we took the pasta, I put two jars of sauce in here, and what I used was the Whole Foods organic Italian herb, and I did one jar of organic portobello mushroom. I put about a tablespoon of butter in there, not too much, just a little bit of butter flavor, and keep the noodles from sticking together. And this will be, you know, three, four, five nights worth of pasta for my sister's dinner. Now you can eat a lot of this when you're not adding fat, when you're not adding cheese, because it's not really that calorie dense. So I'm gonna slice up uh, some of this roast beef and we're gonna eat before midnight. I do have a couple different like supplements and enzymes that I'm taking right now. I actually have to film that video for my Patreon later. So definitely check that out if you guys wanna know more about that. I'm a little bit irritated that probe thermometer must be off because this roast beef is way, 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 way overcooked. So I'm gonna have to figure out you know, what was wrong with that, and even the thicker end of the roast beef is still a little bit overcooked. So, whatever. Maybe I'll slice this thin and let my family have it for cold cuts, because I really don't like the meat that's cooked this much. But uh, we're going to chow down on our first meal, have a couple more tablespoons of that honey, take my supplements and enzymes, and then I'll check in with you guys after. So my sister's grabbing her dinner. She's trying to fit as much pasta in a bowl as possible. Uh, I had... Some of the roast beef, honestly, as I said, it's overcooked. And a ton of meat juice came off of that. So I'm actually looking forward to eating that because there's a lot of juice to have with it. So it's not that bad. I think I'm going to carve away the gray stuff and have some of the pink stuff. So we wasted a bit, but it's still uh, still good, still productive. You guys can see I still have the white under my eyes. I might try to lay down for a couple hours because it's about 5 o'clock. And, you know, the only real stuff I have to do today is... You know, I'll finish filming this video. I have to work out, have a second meal, write some scripts, look up some miscellaneous stuff online. So I only have like four to five more hours of work today. And if I get to bed at 2 or 3 a.m., that gives me a couple hours of free time, a few of which I want to spend taking a nap. So I might lay down a couple hours. I'll let you guys know. So I took a two-hour nap. It's about 9 p.m. now. After I ate that first meal around 5.30, I actually went upstairs. I did another hour and a half of work on my computer. Uh, so now uh, we're gonna have our second meal. I'm going to go work out, fill the orders for Frankie's Naturals and Organ Supplements, and then we're gonna go upstairs, relax for a few hours, uh, ideally edit this video, and oh, I forgot we still have to film the Patreon video. Maybe I'll just do the Patreon video tomorrow. We'll see. So the second meal is just gonna be the roast beef that I made earlier. And what I actually did was I cut up the pieces that weren't overcooked. I put them in the juices. Uh, so we have a nice meal uh, to have right now. Just a bunch of high quality protein. Just finished my second meal. It's almost 10 p.m. now. And this is actually the only part of my day that's accurate. I have been working out really late, you know, anywhere between 10 p.m. and 1 a.m. Workouts usually around an hour and a half, although I'm trying to condense it. And a day like today where I have a lot of orders to fill, it's probably going to take me about two hours to finish this workout. So uh, let me just give you guys a quick example of what I do, and then I'll get to it. I do turn some music on, but since I don't want to get copyrighted, I'll just leave it off for the demonstration. So the first portion of my routine is back and glutes. So I'm going to do a back exercise, a glute exercise, and if I feel like I need to rest, I'll go fill an order. You guys hear that water coming down? That's gonna be a pain when I start filming videos down here for workouts because every time someone uses water in the house, it's gonna come down that pipe. Maybe we can make it like an inside joke. All right, so that was the first set, but you know, since it's the beginning of the workout, 
and I have a lot of energy, I'm not going to rest, I'm just going to jump right back into the exercise. So as I said, during my rest time, I'll try to do an order. And on average, it takes me about 30 seconds to fill an order. So it's perfect between each set. You know, one order between each set is adequate rest time. I already got my label printed out. I already had the products made. We got UPSPS separated with UPS. And then between orders and between sets, I usually wipe my hands with a towel. Uh, so that's gonna be the next two hours of my day. And I'll check in with you guys around midnight. It's been a long day, guys. It's 12.30 right now at night. We just finished 60 orders for Oregon Supplements and Frankie's Naturals combined. I am also pumped out of my mind as we've been working out for two and a half hours. We did a couple extra sets. We took more time resting. I think the volume in this routine is you know, more than I've ever done. And it's not necessary to do this much volume. I just you know, wanted to get all of these orders filled today. Uh, so these are gonna be brought to the post office tomorrow. Uh, since it is so late, 12.30, I'm going to save that Patreon video for tomorrow. We'll film it tomorrow because I need to get to bed at a reasonable time, 3 or 4 a.m. today. So let me go upstairs, show you guys my nighttime routine, and then uh, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. So what I'll usually do is I'll come over to my computer, I'll plug my camera in to upload whatever video I was filming. Then we'll do my nighttime routine in the bathroom. So I brush my teeth, I use a water flosser, floss. I use uh, some of my Frankie's Naturals tooth powder. This is my Frankie's Naturals deodorant. I also have the hair pomade over there. We have some African black soap and my clay shampoo is downstairs. So I do use all of my products except as you guys can see. And I save the labels and the containers. Uh, in the shower, it's just a, a chlorine filter that's screwed on. You can get these on Amazon for 15 bucks. I think I have that on my Amazon shop, but that's really it. You know, I don't do any type of like face routine. I just wipe my face with hot water and I let my diet and the sun uh, make my skin very vibrant. Once every uh, week or two, I do have to shave. So just use a little straight razor to trim it up. Also trim my eyebrows. Uh, that's really it. I guess we could add up the total productive hours of the day. Uh, so we woke up at six in the morning to get to Frankie's Sea Range Meat. Got back home around Eight, I think we went back to bed around 8.30, so that was two and a half productive hours. Uh, we woke up at 1.30 and worked till around 7, which is five and a half. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, I usually work anywhere from 10 to 12 hours a day, and, and the rest of the day is either spent leisure time, uh, sleeping, exercising, stuff like that. Uh, so right now it's almost one in the morning. I'm going to upload this footage edit it for an hour or two, and then probably spend an hour or two writing video scripts. So we'll get to bed around four or 5 a.m. Uh, unfortunately, I do have a consultation tomorrow morning, uh, which is another unusual thing. I don't have consultations that early often, uh, but hopefully at some point this week, I can get some sleep. Uh, so thank you guys so much for joining me today. Uh, you know how to support me through all the means down in the description below. I'll see you guys soon.